Message received, Unit 3. Over and out. Oh. OK. Let's go. Come on, come on! What time is it? What is it? Buzz. Coming here? Yeah. Oh, Christ! Keep the door shut, as long as you can. All units. We've lost him. He's done a bunk. It's all right, Skip. Relax. We can see him. Good. The search of the premises is continuing. The remainder of the force is on its way back, so, uh, the canteen about, will you? Come on, Sunshine, over there. Over and, uh, whatnot. Drug squad are going in with the dogs? Yes, well, the best are British. The impossible takes longer. Well, what have we got? Diary, stashed by one Johnny Chong in flight. And for a chinky chonky, huh? That's surprising. Oh, a name in English. Ray Doyle. You know him? No. Nah. Well, find him pronto. I want to have a long chat to Mr. Ray Doyle. <laughs> Jimmy. Kilroy. Get around, eh? Don't know. Not when I left. Yeah, well, I've been here about, what, six weeks? Doesn't time fly when you're having fun. Where you been? See the Queen? No. Boston. Oh, yeah. Food's good, isn't it? You lost something. American chick. Called Lisa. She's still around. I mean, was she here when you came? But why are you so evasive, eh? Well, that's a good word, I like that. Evasive. Don't patronise me. Just because I don't conform, it doesn't mean I'm a cretin. Yeah, well, it's all gonna change, innit? Bank insurance companies, multinational rip-offs. Just what the world needs, another revolutionary. Look, Lisa. Yeah? Well, if you know something, tell me. You know, this bird of yours, was she into drug? All the way. When I say drugs, man, you know? Yeah, skag, smack, mainlining. She couldn't be more into it than that. And no one's told you anything? 
told me what, for Christ's sake? Listen. Between you and her, what was the sin? Look, just tell me, all right, or I'll bust your bleeding skull open. Sonny, I'm the newsreader. You don't like the news, don't kick. Sorry. Why don't you just tell me, please? She's dead. How? Overdose. When? Three weeks, maybe less. I don't believe you. Don't. Look, she knew too much. She knew how to cut it. She knew how to cook it. She knew how to... Found her one morning. Spike still in her thigh, pure uncut H, 90% would have killed a horse. You don't believe me, also local cops. So what happened to her? You know, body. Her father came over. He was a Yankee Doodle. Funny little crumpled man. In grey suit. Asked a lot of questions. Didn't understand the answers. And then he split. Doesn't happen in Seattle, you see. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, well, she said she'd wait. Don't bloody care, do they, eh? Bastards. Where is this? Car park near Tempelhof. At Berlin. I know where Tempelhof is. Who's the German? His name's uh, Brennick, Sergeant. Helmut Brennick. Form? Clean as a whistle. I am sorry about the heat. Uh, would you like to take your jacket off, George? Uh, no, no. Not quite the way the yard would have played it, eh, George? Not quite. Cathay Pacific, they don't fly into London, do they? No nearer than the Persian Gulf. What's the writing say? Beware of falsification. Uh, the elephant is used as a seal on all drugs parcels. Isn't that right, Sergeant? Bitten by the elephant means addicted to heroin. Unfortunately, has lots of attractive sounding names. Red chicken, white dragon pearl. Oh, what the hell's wrong with the temperature in here? It's preset to keep the computers happy. Miserable for people, but oh boy, do the machines love it. How about window? They're not made to open in case the natives turn ugly. Three pounds, four ounces of heroin. So each packet's what? Uh, One million five hundred thousand US. That's it. Number four. Four. Well, number three is brown sugar, smoking heroin, 44% pure. Number four is 99% pure, used for injecting. There's more to it than that, Sergeant. If that had been made up for the European market, it would have been brown sugar. This was for American addicts. When you say Americans, exactly who do you mean? The GIs in Germany, all 185,000 of them. We don't crack this, George. We could be in for a potential hiccup in the great Anglo-American relationship. Why else do you think CI-5's involved? Vincey, check sign. Vincey! Vincey, check sign. Vincey, check sign. What's all that about? Oh, personal info, date of birth, place, etc. Anything known on him? Only that he has a thriving business. No record, no debts. And he's not saying anything. The triad. Are you sure about that? All the signs. Too scared to say anything because of what might be done to his family. A couple of things. This heroin comes from the Golden Triangle. Shan State into Hong Kong via Bangkok. Why not ship direct to Germany? Well, 50,000 Chinese in London. That means 50,000 potential couriers. There's no comparable Chinese community in Germany. Callahan's probably right. It's an attempt to create trouble between Britain and America, and that special rapport so beloved by the politicians. An attempt by whom? The Germans. East Germans. Dieter Kroll was in London last month. 
And he didn't just come to eat noodles and bean sprouts, right? Right. <laughs> Enjoying your succumbent, Sergeant? Very much, thank you. Alpha to do four. Yes, sir? A DS requests information about Ray Doyle. Uh, let him know where four five can be found, will you? Forty-five. Thank you. Thank you. Um, five, fifty, fifty, one hundred. God bless you, darling. Yes, sir, you want some fruit? Yeah. What do you want? I don't know. Uh, well, we've got Cape apples, we've got uh, French grapes, Morocco oranges, all homegrown. Got any peaches, mate? Yeah, ten peaches. Yeah, give us a couple, will you? All right, two peaches for last of the big spinners. Don't go away, darling. I'll be right with you as soon as I've seen See to this gentleman. Buys everything like Noah in two. Twenty peaches. You got any progress? Not so as you'd notice. A boy named Jimmy, he's girl od a couple of weeks ago, very uptight. Know anything? I'll find out when I... Hey, listen, these beaches are bruised. Trouble with you, sailor. Don't know your own strength. You all right, Noel? See you, everybody. OK, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah? ta -ra. Take care. And you. I presume. What do you want? A chat. Who am I chatting to? Game set and match. So what's with you and the Chinese, Ray? Not enough of your own sort? Yeah, too many. Too, too many. Now, we just love them, don't we, Charlie? Love them. We just lap them up, don't we, Charlie? Like cats with cream. Who's your friend, little Mr. Echo? You know, Charlie, I reckon he's taking the Michael. Oh, I don't think so, Sarge. Wouldn't do a thing like that, would you, son? I suppose you've got a warrant. But of course we've got a warrant. Haven't we, Charlie? Of course. Let's have a look. I think you must have it, Skip. No, no, I remember you had it. Oh, no, 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 Sarge. Sorry. Don't seem to have brought it. Bit fast on the law, Skip. You know, for an innocent punter. Got a bit of form, have we? Touch of the flesh, Gordon's brain. You haven't told me yet what you're here for. Yours? Yes, yeah, ginseng. And you won't mind if I keep on and have it tested, will you? What if I do? I beg your pardon? A couple of hours ago, Sunshine, we nicked one of your Chinese friends. One Johnny Chong. You know Johnny Chong? Never heard of him. He knows you. Tough. It could well be. He had this little book on him. Just like Chairman Ma, remember? But this one was full of gin about junk. You know, drugs. Amounts, dates, meeting places, names. But all the names were in Chinese. All except one, that is. Yours. Ray Doyle. I'm not the only Ray Doyle in London. No. But you are the only Ray Doyle at this address. So where's Anna May Wong then? Working. Oh, you got on the game, have you? Good brass, the chinks. 
Oh, I still don't think this lit course at the poly. Lit! That means literature, Charlie. Oh. Very erudite fellow, I'm Mr. Doyle. Mind you, touch a moat, Arthur will come in handy when she's down the typhoon shelter in Aberdeen, Ray. <laughs> you know Hong Kong, Ray? No, no, I don't. Well, you should. Aberdeen is choice. 20,000 yellow peril living like rats on junks. Some of them no bigger than floating orange boxes. Get to it. You're a cheeky so, don't you? Get on with it! This is your warning. Big Brother's got his beady one trained. Maybe next time we'll come in with dogs. Woof, woof! And maybe next time we'll find more than ginseng. All right, Chess, bring the car round. DC, Jack? OK, Phil, bring the car round. DS, Colin. Your card is Mark, my son. Hi, Jerry. Oh, nothing like the smell of a Nick sausage, eh? How do you know they're nicked? Oh, you got them on your account at four, no, Mr. Dick. <laughs> now you're right. About Lisa. Yeah. Cremated. Dad took her ashes home last week. Stupid git. If he hadn't been such a clunkhead, he'd still have a daughter instead of a cut. Of charcoal. The question is, what are you going to do about it? What can I do? Eh? Thought you were a one man revolution. Stand up, be counted, give your neck, etc. The time to hire the hall, Jim, is when you've got something to say. Yes, it was my bird. Yeah, go on. No, nah, it didn't matter. No, come on, say it. I hate people who start something and don't finish. No, nah, what I mean is, if it was me, I'd want the creeps nailed. Crucifying. Who? The pushers. Suppliers. That junk she od on has got to come from somewhere. Someone hadn't done their homework, mate. Or had. Meaning? <laughs> These off heads, man, they're freaks. They're really sick. They get a charge out of dealing out fatal fixes, you know, and it's perfect murder every time. So I come up with a face, right? Take it out of the frame. Next day, there's another one there. It's just like fungus. Listen. You've got to give what you know to the people who can use it best. The fuzz? Why not? Look, I'm not a grass. Oh, the big bad fuzz, eh? Fascist tools of capitalist barons. Yeah, well, it's true. Been my bird, mate. I want blood. I'd want to see the holes where the nails went, even if it meant shouting in the ear of the commissioner of police himself. I'd like to see Mr. Nong Hong, please. He's away. Oh, uh, when will he be back? He's in Hong Kong, on business. He's in the Berlin jail, waiting trial on a drugs charge. You want to buy some jade, ivory, Thai silk, a necklace? If nobody talks, Chiling, nothing ever gets done. He jests at scars who never felt a wound. You see, I have Western culture to fight you with. Western police methods, too. That's even better. Two years ago, my uncle, father, and eldest brother all worked in the business. First, my uncle. He was attacked in the foyer of the Odin Cinema, Leicester Square. Slashed with a meat cleaver. Hacked almost to death. There were hundreds of witnesses, all looking the wrong way. He'll never work again. Last February, my brother drowned in Amsterdam. He fell into a canal. Oh, the Dutch police said he was drunk. <laughs> Strange, for a teetotaler. Last week was my father's turn. 
so much for your Western police methods. They have enough crime of their own without worrying about us. We're a minority nuisance. That's not true. No clout power. No Chinese MPs, councillors, union officials. A sitting target. Chilled, yes? Why not? What are we celebrating? The fire that gutted Jackman's wine bar. It's an ill win. Yeah, that's what Jackman says still. Never mind. Not problem, Missed the last bit. I said it's not our problem. Sorry about the fire, Jaime. Shut up, Moishi, you fool. It's not until tomorrow night. <laughs> it's not until tomorrow. <laughs> Traditional Western joke, you know. Traditional Eastern inscrutability. Oh, I see. Thank Bodhi you. thinks he might be onto something. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. You meet a man named Colin. Yeah, briefly. Yamsi? If you're Cantonese. And if you're not? Then it's different. For instance? Panbei. What's that? Mandarin. I'll give up. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It was an ill wind, wasn't it? Mm, I like that. Do you have wine in Hong Kong? Of course we have wine, cheeky devil. You think it's all coolies and sandpans? That yeah, was a long way from France, isn't it? It is. Not far from Australia, yeah, though. You can't count Aussie wine. Philistine. Listen, a couple of shalers, cried a foster who needs faggot gripe juice. Listen. Listen. What? Peninsula Hotel, yeah. Hong Kong, yeah. right? Mm. Eight brown Rolls Royces lined up outside oh. to ferry the guests to the airport or around the island. Oh. Biggest single order roses ever placed. Well, good Lord, you can't argue with that, can you? I suppose you did see Cowley. At the American Embassy, they showed me the cassette. What do you think? Fear. Yeah. Well, the Jerry's could put him away for life, you know. Won't make any difference. Triad. I saw his daughter, London educated, smart as paint. And? Nothing. Leave us alone. It's as bad as the mafia, isn't it? Worse. Haven't shaved, three seven. Better stand down wind of me, too. You seen him this morning? Oh, I left him overnight to sweat on it. Who do you think I am? Man from the ministry. How do we meet? Uh, yeah? Well, I said I did a bit of work for you. Work? Procuring. Oh, thank you. Couldn't have been something legal, I suppose. Well, he wouldn't have believed it, would he? What's the smell? Watching or cooking? Cooking. See you, Mike. Uh, yeah, sock soup, you know. Yummy. Where are the others? Upstairs. Oh, well, there's uh, a query in about your expenses. Yeah? Rib room at the Carlton Tower. Excessive, isn't it? Yeah, it's the only place open to get through, isn't it? They serve you looking like that? Yeah. I think I'm an American actor. Mine, how you go? got against floorboards around here. Here's some as firewood. That him? Yeah. Today of all days. Coincidence, isn't it? Who owns this place? So 
Hey, what was it? Suicide? Oh, yeah, sure. Gives himself an overdose, stands up on nothing, and then hangs himself. The rope knot was round the wrong side. Huh? Yeah. Face the wrong colour, rope fibre's going the wrong way. Read all about it in the lab report. some properties off the Talgarth Road. It would be true to say there are some properties off the Talgarth Road I do not own, but not many. 37 Chesterton, to be precise. Please, don't remind me. What's the problem? Problem? I've no problem. The local council, they're the problem. Maybe I can help. You ever heard of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood? A group of painters, poets, Millet, Rossetti? Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, some lesser member, um, William Morris's brother-in-law, or somebody, spent a couple of nights there once. At number 37? Yeah. And the next thing is, some snotty hotshot slaps a preservation order on me, architectural interest. Hence the squatters. Hence the squatters. You realise there have been two deaths there in the last six weeks? Mr Cowley, I would like to help you. Really, I would. But my hands are tied. I could help you evict. Unofficially, of course. You really don't understand the property business, do you? Well, uh, read the city page, but the subtleties of high finance, no. I want those squatters out. Like you want another hole in your head. You want it condemned. You're learning. Yes, a fire hazard, a health hazard, any damn sort of hazard, I don't care. I mean, you tell me uh, two people have died? Tell me 22 people have died, and I could get excited. Christ. Not much to show for a life. I'd like to sign that. Hardly worth a signature. Thirteen years old. A new Monty Burton evening suit. Tucks, pants, black tie, patent pumps. Looked like a cinema manager. Formation dancing. He was a silver medalist. Are you still on the game, love? No. Didn't you know? Doing the Lex column in the Financial Times. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. Did you know your brother was into drugs? Hmm. Odd sums of money he borrowed. <laughs> he couldn't rake fibers out of a bank vault. He was murdered, you know. Yeah. For his spare socks? No, to shut his mouth. Got any names? Faces? Theories? No. Well, think and ask, OK? You know what a murder inquiry is like, first 24 hours, everyone's leaping about. And things slow down a bit. By the weekend, everyone's pushing memos into in trays and out trays and back again. Even his treads were oddens. Where is it? What's it look like? Surprised. Ready? Yeah. Risky. No time for clever stuff. Local incident. Chinese woman delivered her two kids to school. This morning. She gets back to her car, she's kidnapped. There's more. Locals recover car, return it to owner, a restaurateur, he denies everything. All big misunderstanding. What about the wife? In the kitchen, barbecuing the spare ribs. What do you think? 
How'd the locals get onto it? Eyewitness. Looks reliable. Milkman. Ex-traffic cop. All right, give me the details. I'll get Esther to chase it up. Yam Choi. Yam Choi. What you do in London? Student, English literature. And you want to make some money? That's it. I have a grant, but grant today, gone tomorrow. Student saying. From 6.30 to 9.30 every night except Monday. A pound an hour plus cut of bar sale. Yes? Can I let you know tomorrow? The after will be too late. Excuse. He always like this. Is uh, he married? Hello. Hi. <laughs> I like it. I love it. Where have you been? Come here. Mmm. Mmm. What are you eating? Grapes. Fruit salad, huh? <laughs> it's always been raining, you know. Another slow day? You've been pouring all day. Yeah. It's your paper, darling. Thanks. Taipan Restaurant, remember? Yeah, Lambeth Street. Uh, cross chopsticks in the Doyle Good Food Guide. Why? They're running an ad for a drinks waitress. Oh, well, that's great. It's a perfect job for you. Chang Sam slashed right after the hump. It's wonderful. The wife isn't the same wife we met. Oh. Isn't she? No. You sure? These Chinese all look the same, you know. Yeah, but not if you're one of them. 4 5 to 2 4. 2 4. Go ahead, 4 5. There's a Chinese nosh house in uh, Lambert Street called the Taipan. I went around the clock on it. It's owned by a man called uh, Chi Sang. Do you want me to spell that for you? C H I S A N G. All clever stuff, 2 4, over and out. Sleeping well? Yeah, like a top. What's your excuse? Um, wouldn't say no. Yeah. It's wine. Yeah, of course it is. If you're going to have insomnia, suffer in style, I say. This is uh, T. Sang's wife. At least she's still in the country. Yeah, according to immigration. You don't believe it? You think she might be dead? No. Sound very sure. Yeah, I am. There's no point in kidnapping somebody, then bumping them off before you've even sent off a ransom note. I mean, once they're dead, they've got no value at all, haven't they? Oh, no. I wonder when I'll be back in Kowloon. I think I'll come with you. Mm. Yeah. I've always fancied running one of those uh, Susie Wong type cat houses. Hmm? Susie Wong? No. <sighs> it's taken 20 years to lift that down. Last January, the UK sent us a dolphin. Do you know what he was called? I could make an educated guess. <laughs> Car A Datsun containing target Chi Sang leaving a restaurant now. Car registration number is FLA 941T. <laughs> Down to a penny, it'll be Heath Row. Entering airport now. Clear with the airport, please, will you? Target is leaving by the 10 a.m. Gulf Air Flight 006 to Bahrain. This connects with the 2320 Cathay Pacific Flight CX740 to Hong Kong. Well, what about his ticket? Hong Kong, economy return. Should get the Kai Tak at about um, three or four tomorrow afternoon. I'll get a call into Hong Kong before they go home. Funny. You can help by leaving me alone. I have husband, two children. But for their sakes, you want them to live their lives with the same fear? You paid him protection money, right? Please, leave me alone. I want my husband back. 
so that we can live peacefully like we used to work hard. Yes, sir. Hello. Good day at the office. Not bad, you. Come down, I'll tell you. Hello. Hi. Oh, for me. For you. What have I done to deserve this? Sapelt Arrow Water Reisley. Australia. Yeah, so I see. Hey, you like uh, picking duck? I like picking at anything, Chinese. Mm, God, you're never serious, are you? I'm always serious. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hold it! CX-731 to Bahrain. Uh, got it. And then AR-100 to London. Uh, due in it. Uh, what was that again? 0640 hours. OK, Alex, thanks for your help. We'll pick them up. I'll let you know as soon as there's anything to report. Bye. Leaves Hong Kong this afternoon. <laughs> Come in. Hey, I thought you got a face full. I did. No, it was a warning. Mm. Any ideas? They didn't leave a card. What acid is that H2O, etc., etc.? No idea. It's probably sulfuric or hydrochloric, one of them. My chemistry days are long gone. So will my face be. Rather a heart of gold than a white stick. Did you find anything out? If I did, I just forgot it. You mean the idea of your brother's killers walking around scot free doesn't bother you? No, not one bit. Reckon you owe me a favour? A small one. Can you get me to Houston in one piece? Yep. I used to think all the gangsters in the world grew around New Street Station. Do you want a reference? I know some people I could call. One thing I never had trouble with, coppers. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Three seven to two four. Two four. Go ahead, three seven. Chi Sang's arrived. No welcome party. We're following him to Terminal 3. Looks like we're heading for the underground. Oriental. Surprise, surprise. It's getting off now. 
Out. In the station car park, our man's just climbed into a Datsun. Pick me up, will you? Seven. I'm now in position outside the motel. The target's inside with suitcase over. Hey, do you remember that last funeral Callie went to? Which one? Minister's PPS. Yeah, vaguely. Three seven. Message for you. Go ahead, two four. G Sang safely lodged at Camp David. The man you are following is named Cheng. C H E N G. Thanks, two four. Coronary in his car, wasn't it? <laughs> I was supposed to be, but a mate of mine on the express reckons it was a heart attack hump. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, I bet he had a smile on his face, sir. Into the U.S. cavalry. Leave this to me. idea was the disguise. My governor. Your governor, yeah, obviously a man of great imagination. I've never seen such clean dustman in my life. That's better. Are you tooled up? Apart from your brushes, that is. Right, Sergeant, get your men around the back and you foul up on this one. You'll be back shaking hands with doorknobs, got it? What's your name? DC Jack, sir. DC Jack. There you are. Right. DC Jack and DS Colin. My card's marked. That's him. Dieter Kroll. A long way from the East German trade delegation. Diversification, they're all up to it. Now, we want you to stay here until further notice. Nobody knows you're here. Nobody can get at you. The owner is an ex bobby Sergeant Murdoch, so you're perfectly safe. <laughs> then, as soon as the gang have been rounded up, you'll return to your restaurant and live in peace. <laughs> Well, that didn't go down too well, Esther. Do you think they understand? They understand, sir. Understanding is not necessarily believing. Time to move, mate. Right. Find out what shallow they're in and empty the rest of the block, huh? I shall start without you. Okay. Out, please. What? 
Sorry, we need you out of here. Oh, we, we've only just checked in. Might be some shooting. Shooting? Yeah, bang, bang. What's Goodbye. going on? Who's that in there? I don't know, mate. She's, uh... Who are you talking to? Hey. Don't forget the family album. Thanks. Excuse me. Hey, that drink really improved you. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt the fun. We've got to get you out of here. What's going on? There's uh, some trouble in the chalet next door, buddy. You go, man. Just a routine fire. Don't worry. Stress. Oh, Mr. Sir. So, Mr. Ching? Uh, my name's Bodhi, uh, CI5. I have a warrant for your arrest. You're completely surrounded, Cheng. Come on, give up. You're not going any place. Hey, tables. Go on. Cheng, there's some tables in the middle of the lawn. Keep your eye on them. This one. Get out, I'll chop. All right, Chen, you're convinced now. Come on out. What now? The tenor says to give up. You reckon? You're on. Flat. Yeah, yeah, all right. You owe me a tenner. Guess what? Oh. Diplo bloodymatic immunity. Who? Crawl. Who says? Cowley. Mustn't touch, he says. Hands off, he says. It's a million bucks worth of heroin in here. Yeah, well, don't tell me, mate. I know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Where'd you want to go, Ray? Nearest pub. Anything I can do? Chief Sang and his wife won't testify. Not surprised. Yeah. Carly says he's going to put the word about they've been talking. Would he? Nah, it's only bluff. <laughs> All that may end up with a fistful of smoke. I'll miss you. Me too. Hey, what about that, uh, that one chai hotel? Hey? You know, Susie Wong? <laughs> yeah. Well, you find that you call me, eh? Cops can't cry. It's not allowed. It says so in the book. <laughs> 